Make sure you go and check out carmarshall.com. Over 100,000 new and used cars from dealers. You shop, you see what you like, you know, negotiate prices, and get you a very good deal. What's going on, people? I'm back with another video. I want to talk about Stephen A. Smith. According to the NY Post, he is to basically sign a new deal to become ESPN's highest paid talent on air personality in their history. Okay, now this is according to the NY Post. So Stephen A. Smith is about to make a lot more money. Okay, for sure. and that's for the people who, you know, like him and the people who don't. I know the people who don't are really going to like this. Because quite frankly, Stephen A. Smith is going to be richer. Smith is in line to become the highest paid on-air person at ESPN by potentially boosting his salary to $10 million per year, according to the people with knowledge of upcoming negotiations. The Post spoke with multiple executives and agents to figure out the number that Smith could garner. And the consensus was in the eight to 10 million range. By comparison, Mike Greenberg is paid 6.5 million to host Get Up, a show that a lot of people don't really watch, which is the network's highest publicized known salary. All right. Uh, let's see. PTI's Michael Wilbon and Tony Kornheiser are believed to be in Greenberg's neighborhood. That that show has been on for a long time. Since I think, what, 2000, since what, before or right at 2005 so i can believe they're getting paid that salary and they actually worked to get work real good together on that show sports centers of scott van pelt with his rising late night ratings is also considered a nearly indispensable category in bristol since smith still has two years remaining on his current contract which is paying him according to sources in the five million per range the two sides have not yet begun serious talks, but ESPN considers Smith among its most valuable on-air performers, and many think he is on top of the mountain. Now, I will say this, though. He is their, pretty much their most valuable guy. Um, you know, people are always tweeting about him, posting about him. I'm speaking about him right now. He, he, he is. He, he's, the, he's what people still watch first take for. You know, he's the guy that people still get up in the mornings and watch on TV. You know, um, you know, he's he's one of their premier guys. I mean, can you name anybody else? I mean, I, we all know that ESPN have been leaking money for quite some time. I would say in the last two years, that's why they have let go of a ton of people. They've lost subscriptions. Um, people are canceling their cable services. So they, they haven't been where they were money wise. Right. And then they had a leadership change. They've had all these issues of social justice. But considering Stephen A's profile, you know, I could see them because because what it looks like to me is Stephen A could, you know, they, they don't want Stephen A to become a free agent, you know, because Skip Bayless basically became a free agent and decided to go to Fox to do his own thing. And they don't want Stephen A to go to Fox because let's be real, Fox aligns, even though it's Fox Sports, it's Fox Sports, but politically they align more with him than than, than uh, ESPN. ESPN does not care too much for someone who isn't super liberal on their network. So they don't want Stephen A. Smith to become a free agent. They don't want him to want to test the waters. I mean, even though Stephen A. Smith walked one time before and it didn't really work out the way he had hoped, but that was then. You know, now with social media and the fact that ESPN don't have a lot of guys there that they wouldn't get rid of, um, they're trying to hold on to him. Okay. So he's basically their mainstay there. All right. It says, even as ESPN tightens its budget, for some of his personnel, Smith is expected to receive a record payday. The Post reported last week that ESPN will still prioritize whom it considers must-keep personnel. Smith, who's 51, is a polarizing figure as those in the opinion business tend to be. He is on first take, hosts his own national radio show, and appears on countless programs. In his second go-round at ESPN, Smith has reestablished himself as the face of the network while he has been criticized for his rudimentary mistakes, such as saying Mike Sosha is still managing the Angels. Smith has developed into a star. Yeah, that was a big gaffe right there. Probably doesn't watch a lot of baseball. He has been caricatured on Saturday Night Live and turned into the biggest non-athlete celebrity at ESPN while still providing 
tonnage uh, appearing uh, on multiple platforms on ESPN and also on his social media as well. Smith, the native Hollis Queens, is well liked by ESPN's top executives because he is always willing to go on air while other top talent have been known to complain if they were overused. I'm telling you, man, that's that's the one thing about being a company man. And, and Stephen A. Smith is a company man. There's nothing wrong with being a company man because the company man is going to get him paid. You know, um, it's just like when wrestling, you know, you know how John Cena does whatever WWE wants him to do. That's why he's the top guy, considered, considered the top guy. He makes a lot of money. Is because he's willing to do whatever it takes in order to get the job done. He's willing to show up, you know, and he, you know, I mean, Stephen A has an ego, but he's willing to put his ego to the side in order to do what ESPN needs him to do. And I think that's why they're rewarding him. Also, I think they're rewarding him because they know that, again, he could still leave for Fox Sports. And they do not want that to happen because Fox Sports is building something very good over there. I, I know they... They're making new shows and they're successful. I mean, their programs are going viral and they just don't want him, you know, because he's more valued now than he was before when he left. And they and he's clearly the guy at ESPN. Name somebody else who could be considered the face of ESPN. You know? In the next round of negotiation, Smith may try to be even better compensated for all the extra spots he does, which I think he should. If, if, if I'm Stephen A and they're trying to utilize me on different network, on different uh, television shows on their networks, I should get a bonus for every show I'm on. You know, if you want me to go do a late night spot bonus, you want me to do an early morning spot bonus. I think he should also put those incentives in the contract as well. As far as if they can do that, you know. As far as potentially leaving ESPN, Smith has aspirations outside of sports. Smith could be a syndicated daily talk show, a game show, or in this will be more risky, venture into politics. He also may want to be a producer of something to go along with his on-air work. And that's what ESPN is afraid of. Because once again, Stephen A. Smith is, I think he's, he's a centrist, I believe, that leans more to the right. That aligns more with Fox Sports. You know, he would be welcome with open arms at Fox Sports. Look at um, Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock is is a conservative, a black conservative. And, you know, he's thriving over there. He doesn't have to worry about people trying to censor him and tell him how to speak during shows. So I could definitely see that, you know, uh, him doing so, you know. These days, agents always put... Well, put uh, yeah. These days, agents always point to digital players with deep pockets as potential alternatives. A place like DAZN, run by Smith's former ESPN boss, John Skipper, could try to blow ESPN out of the water to see if Smith would leave for a walled off, walled off subscription model world, but one that could possibly be insanely lucrative. Okay. However, it is unclear if that would work. As talk shows on over-the-top services such as Chelsea Handler's program on Netflix have not been big draws. Smith is well positioned with a with a usual suspect in Fox Sports, where his old contrarian Skip Bayless resides. And potential newbies such as Danzen or D A Z Z N, I think it's Danzen, or Amazon or Apple as possible landing spots or leverage. Let me tell y'all this. When Stephen A. Smith left ESPN, I believe it was around 2008, 2009, there was no competitors. Fox Sports wasn't what it was. There was no Amazon you know, streaming service. There was no Apple streaming service. It was just ESPN. ESPN or you basically are just doing radio you know, in certain locations, you know, or doing radio online that, you know, uh, but you weren't able to make the type of money that he's looking to make. And Stephen A. Smith may look to just be, you know, just fulfill his obligations through these next two years and become a free agent and just see what what money will come his way because he could make more. They're offering him eight to ten. But with these streaming services, 
with John Skipper's uh, new company, uh, with you know um, Fox Sports, he can make more than that, and I think he knows that. So ESPN is going to have to open them pockets, and they're going to have to offer him just a tad bit more than what they're offering him now. There, there is an interesting inside twist to the Smith ESPN negotiations as Smith. Will have the president of Endeavor, Mark Shapiro, overseeing his negotiations. Shapiro used to run ESPN's programming and production, so he has a good idea how much Smith is worth to the company. Now that's interesting, Smith. Shout out to Stephen A. Smith. The move he's making. Okay, let's see. With Shapiro, his biggest backer, Smith had his initial rise at ESPN. It was Shapiro who gave Smith his own show in 2005 called Quite Frankly. I remember that show. That show had a lot of potential, a lot of potential, uh, but it didn't work out. By 2009, Shapiro was gone. Smith and ESPN could not agree on a contract. Smith would return a short time later, beginning as a radio host and writer for ESPN New York. From there, he built his value back up at ESPN. So basically, he had to, you know, basically earn the trust of the people higher up. They probably, I think at that time, Stephen A's ego was probably a little out there, you know? And I think that when he came back, he sort of had to work his way up, you know? Now Smith may be the most prominent on-air person at the network. His current contract is up in June of 2021. He is well positioned for a record rise. And he's earned it. He's absolutely earned it. I have no issue with him seeking to make as much as he possibly can. You know what I'm saying? It's good to see brothers succeed. I'm not one of these guys who hate Steve, who hate who dislikes Stephen A. Smith or dislikes when other people do good. I like when people do good, especially black men. Some of y'all men I like that. I don't care. It's my opinion. You know? So y'all let me think uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. You know, let me know your thoughts on this. Make sure you go to teesprings.com slash unofficial JDB merch to go and purchase my exclusive tees and hoodies. Make sure you go to teesprings.com, go and buy you a couple things and represent your red pill mindset.